Something I've been eagerly awaiting for in the post is the vastly overpriced Armster 2, specifically for my Abarth 595. So here I am, 10 o'clock at night, scrolling through a Abarth Owners Club, looking at all these great posts and these great mods that everyone's done to their car, and I stumble across Armrest. So here I am, I've spent way too much money, and today we're gonna fit it. I purchased mine directly from the Armster website, and I paid 91 pounds, 95 pence. The only reason you would choose to buy the Armster is because it fits so precisely and more importantly if you have the sat belt seats, it fits directly in between even when folded down or at least as I've been told. Now this video isn't sponsored so I can say whatever I like about this product. If I think it's worth it, I'll be honest. This is the part that is responsible for me purchasing this product and it's the specific adapter for the Fiat 500 or the Bath so that the armrest sits snug into the centre console. At first glance, it's plastic. In the other box, we have the armrest. The quality of this part, however, feels premium, so that fills me with a little bit of hope. I'm told that you can extend the top cushion so you can rest your hand, arm out further, and that feels a little bit flimsy, but I'd imagine it would do the job. This here is the pillar for the armrest, which sits on top of the console like this, and it slots in perfectly, like that to fit this to the top of the armrest I think is simply with this prong facing backwards and then aligning the four bolt holes up inside here. Now we just need to secure the base into the cup holder using these kind of screws. What I'm going to do first is just make sure that I like that position. I'm going to jump in the car seat and make sure it's okay. So the furthest back position and the furthest forward position, both of them do clear the chair, which is good. I'm thinking the further back you can come, the better, because that way you can use, you can still get into the armrest. You can still get down here to let that down and let it up, because that was my main fear with this, was the obstruction to the handbrake. Um, so I think that confirms my decision. I'm going to mount this as far back as possible. This is what it would look like if you're doing it with your seats in place and you can use a drill as well, which is good. Do what, don't do what I just did. Make sure you push this down before you put your holes in. One finished armrest. Let's see. It does indeed clear it all the way nicely, which is good. Generally speaking, that was quite a painless install. So let's check out how it looks inside the car. Right, so let's see how this is in practice. Graceful entrance as ever. Uh, first of all, it's actually that sits really nice. Um, that's, that's a big improvement. The leather contrast with the Alcantara actually isn't too bad. I do think that works. By virtue of this armrest being mounted to the center console, there is a bit of lateral movement because that doesn't sit very tight in the Abarth or the Fiat 500. By using it like this, it increases the leverage and makes it feel a little bit weak. To address the handbrake situation, now, it, now everything's back in place, both chairs. It probably looks more awkward with me doing that, but actually, that's not too bad. But I don't think you're gonna have to do that every time that you pull up and use the handbrake. So that's gonna be quite useful. I'm glad I mounted it a little bit further back just to address that point. We also have the little cubby hole here. My phone's on record, so I can't do it. But anyway, this is quite deep. This is a nice pocket. Access to the coin purse is also good. Um, I'm really not sure what the intended purpose for this pocket is. However, I'm sure we will find a use. I'm happy with this, so I'm gonna pause the video here and I'm going to run some motorway miles. Then I can return to this video with a more developed opinion to let you know if it's worth spending 90 pounds or not. What delightful weather we have today. 
So let me resume and tell you my thoughts on the armrest now that I've had, a, had the chance to give it a good drive and use it in a real situation, i.e. putting a handbrake on, putting a seatbelt on, using it over hours, leaning on it to reposition myself when I get in on the car. I think uh, this qualifies me to talk about this armrest in more depth because I didn't realize how much there would be to say about an armrest when I first started this video. I like the fact that this armrest is at the same height as the armrest in the door card in the Abarth 595. When driving along like this, it does create a very nice driving position. I don't know if that's intended. However, kudos, because that is what I think you might be paying the price for, is that level of attention to detail. Something I said earlier that I take back is that when you push this armrest forward to have the increased surface area, I said it felt weak. But when you're driving along, having that extendable feature, I think this feature is redeeming for the fact that it extends the armrest to give you the possibility to hold the wheel with both hands whilst driving and having your arm slouched on the armrest. Following form, there's function. So let's talk about the practicality. Getting in and out of the car will take some time to get used to because whether I like to admit it or not, it is a bit obstructive. As you saw putting my seatbelt on earlier, I have to change the way that I do that. When I apply the handbrake, I have to change the way that I do that. But I will say, all in all, I think this armrest has been designed in a way that I'll be able to learn how to do it. My last point to mention is when you're positioning your body as you get in the car and you lean on it with your elbow, you put force through it. It feels sturdy. I don't think it's gonna snap. I don't think that I'm going to break it every time. I believe the benefit of having this in the car will be greater than not having it. Which I suppose brings me to summarize whether it's worth buying or not. In the early years of driving, I have had the opportunity to use an armrest from eBay. I think it was 25 or 30 pounds, probably eight or nine years ago. And if I'm honest, it wasn't bad. It actually, for all, for all intensive purposes, it did exactly what it needed to do and it didn't break. However, it didn't have the adjustability and the build quality of the Armster 2, which is why I recommend the product if you have the funds to buy it. If you like this content and want to keep up to date, please subscribe and don't forget to hit the like button.